seconds. Starting. A significant percentage of the world's commodities travel by ocean or sea and transport on ships and, and other ocean-going vessels. What we're trying to do is investigate ways of reducing the overall energy input required to transport these goods or provide some energy savings perhaps for the Navy due to growing fuel costs and concerns with environmental resources. Today we're investigating superhydrophobic services that are applied to a TOAD model, a DARPA sub-off model. With this model, we've spray applied a superhydrophobic coating to the midsection of this sub-off uh, model that we're testing today in the physical model basin. We're expecting that this coating will provide some frictional reduction over the applied superhydrophobic surface. Superhydrophobic surfaces are unique in the fact that they naturally want to repel water. They are more attracted to air than the water counterpart. With these types of coatings, these superhydrophobic coatings, we've been able to show that we can provide energy savings or reduced input power by 10 to 20 percent. Even if we can provide some reduction, energy reduction or input power required to move something through the water by a few percentage, that is a great, uh, a great, can have a great impact on the overall performance of a vessel and can provide significant savings to vessel operators and the Navy. This project is part of a multi-university interdisciplinary research initiative to design and evaluate the performance of superhydrophobic surfaces in turbulent flow. We started out designing uh, surfaces to be applied in recirculating water channels where we could specifically tailor and alter features of superhydrophobic surfaces and now we're trying to culminate the project with uh, a large-scale towed body uh, at depth in the University of Michigan Marine Hydrodynamics Laboratory uh, model basin. So let's head back again, 25 meters per second. The resources here at U of M are pretty much one of a kind. So it's been a great experience and great opportunity here at U of M in the Department of Naval Architecture and Marine Engineering.